one of my day jobs is actually doing professional sound. And I guess if you haven't figured out by now, I'm crazy. So who would take a job at an air show with the job of getting clean sound? Yep, me. That's me. And you know what? I do it. Now, I've had requests from the people running the show who are doing all the video work that they'd like to get really clean aircraft sound. Well now, you'd figure, how hard could that be? Aircraft are really loud, especially if you're within a few hundred feet of them and you've got clearance to be even closer. However, the problem is if you're shooting air show, you know, planes flying around doing their thing, you also have announcer guy. An announcer guy never shuts up. He just talks and talks and talks. And it's extremely hard to get clean aircraft sound of the planes buzzing and zooming around and not have his voice droning in. Now, I've tried a number of different things. I've found different spots at the show that work much better than others. There's been a lot of experimentation. And finally, because someone had suggested it to me, they said, well, why don't you try out a parabolic mic? Okay, sure. So, I hooked up with Clover Products, and Clover Products turned out to be less than an hour away from me down in Janesville. I met the folks there, they're great people, and they hooked me up with a couple of different dishes to try out. So the dishes come in three different sizes. I kind of passed on using the smallest one because I knew that wasn't going to be directional enough for me. I did try out the 16 and that was pretty good, but I ultimately wound up using the largest dish. Their largest one initially gave me pretty good results, but I was still picking up announcer noise from the back. So what we did was we actually used one of their mod kits and stacked two dishes together, and they wind up about two and a half, three inches apart. And in between the two dishes, we stuffed a bunch of gray foam. That dampened up considerably the amount of sound that was just being picked up by the dish itself. So at this point, I could actually be fairly close to the speakers, and yet I was still getting incredibly clean sound. I mean, yeah, I did pick up announcer guy a little bit, but he was really, for the most part at worst, a generally a very low murmur, and not just anything distinct that would just trash the recordings. So here are some sounds that I got. I had to kick it up just one more notch and what I did was I did a sort of pseudo MS recording instead of just using a single lav mic mounted in the center of the dish I also added a second and it was an old ECM 55 it's not really the most popular mic to use out there because it's so big but it's a really great sounding mic and for this application it was perfect because it has plenty of low-end pickup so I had this kind of pseudo stereo MS setup going on and I ran the mixer in MS mode and the end results were, yeah, it wasn't technically correct, but it came out sounding with a nice stereo image anyway. So that's something that I really like about recording with MS is there's what the textbook says you're supposed to do and how to record it and then you can really improvise and do different sorts of unexpected things and still get a nice stereo sounding image. So the bottom line is using a parabolic mic it was the first time I'd ever done this but I got some great results. A couple features about these things that might surprise you. They're designed to break. Well who designed something to break? Well, you design something to break when a 300 pound linebacker smashes into you. You want that thing to come apart so that nobody gets hurt. Unlike shotgun mics, this really can reach out and pull sound in from a couple hundred feet with amazing clarity. Certainly far better than anything else that you could possibly try except directly miking your subject with a wireless mic. And you can't do that with wildlife, now can you? 
Also something to be aware is that Clover Industries will custom build products for you. If you need a special mount, you have some weird situation that you need something that's not the regular standard config, they'll work with you to custom build a solution. And it's a really great tool to use when you need that extra sound reach.